video games are something that the, the, the current generation of kids is growing up with. And our view is if kids are, are using these kinds of devices um, for better or for worse, and if we can substitute some of the content that they are engaging with, we can potentially make a positive difference. Given that games are what you might consider highly engaging as a medium, the question is, could you create a video game that is fun and compelling to play? Could you create a game that, gen that basically teaches kindness? Could you create a game that, uh, cre that, that actually strengthens pro-social skills? How bad do you have to The skills we're going after underlie not just schoolwork, but work performance, underlie you know, family satisfaction, underlie whether or not you report overall happiness in your every single day. And that's fairly profound. I mean, that's when I think you start getting into why build games just to improve grade points? Why not build games that actually save people, save the world? So Crystals of Cador is an RPG or a role-playing game where you are essentially in this alien territory. You're a robot. You're out in space. You have a shuttle problem with your spaceship, and you crash land on a planet. Your task is to find your missing parts that have now been s spread everywhere in this alien territory. And you're, uh, there's an alien population there. In order for you to put yourself back together, you have to interact with the aliens and get their help. So your biggest challenge is to figure out how do you enlist the aliens in helping you when you have no language to do it in and all you have is em emotional gestures. You have to be able to recognize what emotional display is on their face, and then you have to figure out how to respond productively. So, for example, you know, can you recognize the difference between frustration and anger? And then practicing choosing responses to that that reduce problems and tension rather than escalate them. You know, you think that that's very simple, but it turns out that um, it's, it's not a simple ac activity. Um, and it's not simple even for adults. Neuroplasticity refers simply to the fact that the brain is the organ that changes in response to experience and in response to training. We know something about the circuits that are important for attention and the circuits that are important for empathy and pro-social behavior. And uh, the conjecture is that the games are going to strengthen those circuits. We have ways of measuring that directly using functional brain imaging. And we are using the um, state-of-the-art neuroscience to actually assess uh, what the games are doing to the brain. I think that if we find positive results, um, I think it would be a kind of proof of concept that, uh, um, that this stuff is real that we really can change these things in a relatively short amount of time and that the possibilities um, are really significant.